Amen. Amen. With a war going on. And if we're going to win, we better make sure that we have Jesus Christ deep within. Amen. Hallelujah. It is Thursday already. It seems like the days just fly by. Amen. When you are busy doing the things that you have been called to do. Amen. The time flies by. Amen. Armed and dangerous. That's what we want to be. We want the enemy to see that we are armed and we are dangerous. And we want to carry that message to others to help them to become armed and dangerous. This is Seed of Word in Ministry. And I am Ometa. Let us pray. Father God, in the precious, precious name of Jesus, Lord God, we thank you for waking us up close in our right mind and with a reasonable portion of our health and strength. God, we give you praise. We thank you for waking us up, for we know that some did not rise this morning and that they are in your presence. For to be absent in this body, Lord, we realize, according to your word, that will be in your presence and we give you praise we ask oh god as we continue to go forth in this series of armed and dangerous that is reinforced in me and that it is applied to the hearts and minds of those who listen there's a war going on god we acknowledge that it is in our mind our minds are out, out of control I ask God that you would give us faith, hope, and a new word every day to help us to stand against the wiles of the enemy. Father, we come against every thought that is not of yours, every suggestion that's not of yours. In the name of Jesus, every idea that is not of yours, God, help us to bring it into captivity to the obedience of you, your word. Amen. Thank you, God. Amen. Amen. There's a war going on. And if we're going to win, we better make sure that Jesus is deep within. You know why? Because this battle can't be won with bullets and a gun. Hallelujah. And it seems like that is what people are thinking. And I don't want to leave out knives and everything else that they're using and pills and everything else. The war that we're going through can only be won by the word of God. Amen. We thank God for the Holy Spirit that will lead us and guide us into all truth. It's the reason why Jesus came. How, one of the reasons why Jesus came. And he said he had to go back. He said, I must go so that I can send back the comforter, the paraclete who will lead you and guide you into all truth, but not stop there, will remind you of the things that he has said. And guess what? He'll remind you of the things that's written. Amen. Because they were said by inspiration of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. God is good all the time. God is good. I pray that you have looked at the past episodes more than once because faith does come by hearing and hearing of the word of God. Let us go over the foundational scripture for this series of armed and dangerous. Ephesians 6, 10 through 18. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you might be able to stand against the wiles of the enemy. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, amen, take unto you the whole armor of God, that we may be able to withstand in the day, in the evil day, and having all that we have done, stand. Amen. Stand therefore having your loins girt about with truth and having on the breastplate of righteousness and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith 
wherewith ye be able to quench all the fiery darts of the enemy and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit which is the word of god praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints we have now gone over the beginning verses of this sixth chapter uh, starting at, at verse 10 but today we're going to look at verses 10, uh, 15 and 16. Amen. God is good. He doesn't want us to forget that we're in a war. He wants to make sure that we put on our armor. He wants to make sure that we walk in that armor. I heard somebody say, I keep it on all day long and I sleep in it. Amen. And I believe that's exactly what we need to do. Because often in the middle of the night, Hallelujah, our armor can fight for us when we are asleep. Amen. Before we go into the 15th and 16th verses, I want us to take a look at 2 Corinthians. Amen. Starting at the 10th verse. You know what? It sounds just like Ephesians that we've been looking at. But it also explains how our weapons of warfare are used to fight this battle that's going on in our mind. Amen. We must always remember we are not fighting against humans. Amen. But against, you got it, principalities and powers. And they use thoughts, ideas, and suggestions. They are never positive ideas, thoughts, and suggestions. Just looking back at Eve, how the devil mixed his thoughts suggestions and ideas with the truth and so we must know the word of God so that we can examine amen the thoughts that come in our head instead of just jumping and responding you know how many divorces have come to pass because they thought they saw they thought they heard amen and when they looked at it and examined it they were so glad Hallelujah, to come to the truth that it was not what they believed. So the verses in um, 2 Corinthians begin with that for third verse. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the things of the flesh. This is familiar to us because we have read that in Ephesians, the sixth chapter. For the weapons, next verse, for four. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to pulling down of strongholds. Amen. Our weapons are so mighty. Amen. They are the word of God. They can pull down those strongholds so that you will think the things that is upright and honest. Amen. Remember how the devil did Jesus in the wilderness? And what did Jesus pull up? He pulled up the word of God and he said, it is written, amen. And Satan backed off. I want my mouth filled with that, ready for it. When the enemy brings negative thoughts into my head, I want to be able to consider it. Those thoughts according to the word of God. You ever been in a situation where you thought people were talking about you? And when you finally got into that particular place you found out they weren't talking about you but the enemy used your low self-esteem and made you think that they were talking about you i've been there i know what i'm talking about amen amen god is good and merciful to us hallelujah and number five verse says casting down imagination and having every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God and bring it into captivity, every thought, amen, to the obedience of God. Hallelujah, you know what he said, you know what his word said, amen. This is what Eve did not do. She had the knowledge of God and traded it for the devil's ideas and became disobedient to the truth of God's word to them her, Adam and Eve, and then gave it to him. 
<laughs> boy, oh boy. Lord, help us to keep your words up front. Help us not to stand in the way of a sinner, nor sit in the seat of those who are scornful. Amen. For your word said, blessed is the man who meditates on your word day and night, and he shall be like a tree planted by the river of water. Not just sitting there in the water, but bringing forth, hallelujah, fruit in its due season. I don't know about you, but I want to have that fruit that when people come to me, I will have a piece of fruit in season. And they will be so glad that God had a word for them. For whatever that fruit is, I got it from him. Amen. Amen. And we can have that fruit. Having a readiness, number six. Having a readiness to revenge all disobedience when your disobedience is fulfilled. You know, you can't do this until you start walking right, until you start living right, until you start talking right, until you start believing right. And then you can bring anything into uh, God's word and show up where it will cause disobedience. Amen. We need to get strong so that we can help each other. There's a war going on. And even the war that we are facing right now in our world can compare to the rest of the sorrows that's going to come. America has been blessed. God's hands have been on, on, on God. And we know that in the Bible it says if God could find 10, he would not bring his wrath upon the city. And so we're asking God that we be strong and we be the ones, amen, that's holding back the wrath of God until he's ready to come for his, his people. The readiness can be seen in us when we keep his word, when we walk in love, when we walk in patience, when people see joy on us and wonder where it's coming from, when the word is kept in our hearts, and in our mind, he promises to keep us in perfect peace. I want to tell you a little short story of a friend of mine. Not too long ago, not over two years yet, I led a person to Christ. And she became strong in her desire to want to know God. And the more that she wanted the Lord to know, and the more we zoomed and talked, and shouted and cried and did scriptures on the on the Zoom, the stronger she was getting. But you know that old devil brought some suggestions and some ideas and some thoughts. And she began to get a little wayward in keeping in contact and answering the calls. And little by little, she was not calling much at all and we were not sharing. You know, you need to stay around people who are calling on the Lord out of a pure heart so that it helps your heart to be cure, pure. And so by and by, time went on and she ended up falling and being uh, and had a stroke in the process. After surviving that, she was unable to remember things. Her mind was distorted. It was here one minute and then gone. But glory be to God. God said that what he planted in you, he would continue into the coming of Jesus Christ. And on yesterday, she had me in tears as we shared the word of God and had prayer and sang a song. She remembered because God is faithful to his word. So we're not playing. We're not playing a game, learning what we need to learn to keep our minds stable. Get with somebody that is stronger than you. I do. I try to hang around the ones that are stronger than I am so that I can stay strong and my mind can stay clear towards the things of God. I may mess up a little stuff around here and say things that are uh, not complete. But as far as my knowledge towards God, I want it to be steadfast and unmovable. Let me end with this scripture in Philippians 4. And it says, be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. 
and the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep, hallelujah, your hearts and minds through Jesus Christ. Number eight of that particular chapter of Philippians says, finally, you know, Paul always got a finally. <laughs> finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any, and if there be any praise, think on these things. Those things which you have heard and received and seen in me, do it. And the God of peace shall be with you. Amen. God loves you, and so do I. Keep masking, masking, keep distancing, wear gloves when necessary. Learn to read your word and ask God to help you to hold on to it. For the storms of life will always be coming and going. And you want them to go without you being messed up. Walk in obedience towards the word of God. And remember, there's a war going on. And if you're going to win, <laughs> you better make sure that you have Jesus deep within. God is good all the time. Amen. Amen. See you on Tuesday, Lord willing. Have a wonderful weekend. Amen. Go to church if you can. Get in a Zoom church. Amen. And praise your God for giving you an opportunity. Now, if this episode has been a blessing to you, I ask that you share it, that you pass it on to someone else, because we are not the only ones that need to be strong in faith. Amen. We never know who we might go to. Hallelujah. That Or who we might come in contact that needs the word of God. Don't forget about the, um, the $25 gift card. I'm still waiting to send it out from Tuesday's message. Amen. All right. Be blessed. I love you and God loves you more.